Whoa! Welcome back to the Hook Book Barrel. Today, we're talking about machines. Come on! Are you ready? Let's go and talk a brand new book. Let's take a look in the Hook Book Barrel. Oh, shall we see what the story is today? Let's take a look in the Hook Book Barrel. The Hook Book Barrel. Welcome back to the Hook Book Barrel. My name is Jay, and it's so good to see you again. And today, we're going to be talking about machines. So, let me ask you a quick question. Do you know what a machine is? Yeah, we can think of lots of different things that might be machines like. This tractor is definitely a machine. This fire truck is definitely a machine. But you could also think of things like this pair of pliers. It's more of a simple machine. So, with all that said, what do you think a machine is? Yeah, exactly. So, a machine is anything we can make, a tractor or a fire truck or little things like pliers that uses force or energy to make things easier. So, a tractor uses different kinds of energy like diesel, gasoline, to help farmers plow their fields. And a fire truck uses the same kind of energy. It would use gas and different kinds of energy to help people when they're in trouble. So a machine is just something that uses energy or force to make life easier. So for example, I could use these pliers to help take something or to twist something, and I'm using my force to make it easier. So what kind of machines have you seen before? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? We went to one of the local museums and we saw some really cool machines. So let's have a look. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, look at, okay, so we see some wires. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different gears and motor parts. Hmm, maybe a wheel? I wonder what this is. Whoa, that was a really cool machine. But what do you think that was? I saw some buttons. I saw some different things. Let's have another look. Hey, yeah, you were right. Yeah, this looks like a car. Just in pieces. That was so cool. Okay, let's try another one. Let's have a look at another machine. This was probably gonna be easier. And you tell me if you know what it is. Deal? Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, look at this thing. This thing's pretty cool. It's kind of round and it almost looks like a spaceship. What is this? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Let's have another look. Yeah. This is called... Yeah! Yeah, you got it right! Of course! It's a magnetized target fusion proof of principle device. <laughs> Easy! Okay, I'll be honest. I have no idea what that's for. I know that it has something to do with nuclear fusion. But we're not there. We're going to talk about tractors and fire trucks, and I'll give you another example of machine. You tell me if you know what this is. Ready? Oh, huh. Do you know what this is? It's kind of cool. It's got switches or levers and knobs and buttons. That's a kind of a cool machine. You know what this is? You're right. It's a bread toaster. But you can also toast bagels too. Okay, so I'm gonna start making my own machine because we're getting crazy. But you make sure that if you're working with wires or electricity that you do so with an adult. I know that this doesn't have electricity, so I'm gonna be a little bit silly with this. So let's see what we can build. Maybe we can build 
our own really crazy machine. What do you think? Let's go! Yeah! Okay, let's... Oh, never mind. We're gonna take a pause because right now, time to get hooked on a book. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Where? I need to get that fishing rod back. Okay. Whoa! Look at this. This is called Kathy Q Builds a Time Machine. Written by Joanne Scranton, illustrated by Gabby Morris. Let's check it out. Okay, Kathy Q builds a time machine? Question mark? Let's have a look. Kathy Q builds a time machine. Kathy loves to create exciting machines. There is nothing she enjoys more than mixing things together to create something new. One morning, Kathy had an idea. She dropped her breakfast and ran to the garage. Kathy took some buttons, connected them together with gears and motors, and added switches and toggles. She added some zippers and found six batteries to make it all work. Eureka! Kathy had made the world's first time machine. The only thing left was to turn it on. She plugged in the batteries and zipped up the zippers. She flipped the switches and toggles and wound up the gears and motors. She pressed all the buttons in a precise order. And lastly, she crossed her fingers for good luck. Poof! A big cloud of purple smoke filled the room. And when the smoke cleared, everything was upside down. What? That's kind of crazy. That's not a time machine. Kathy didn't make a time machine. She had made an upside down machine. But how? Maybe she did not switch all the switches and toggles. Or maybe she did not zip up the zippers to the top. No matter. Being upside down would be more fun anyway. Kathy grabbed a pair of plungers and went back to finish her breakfast. Except that when she got back, she saw that her toast had fallen to the ceiling. Splat! Oh yeah, because the ceiling would be up here. Everything's upside down. Kathy thought that was silly and then got ready to go to school. In class, all the desks and chairs were strapped to the floor. Patsy sneezed during art class and her art supplies spilled all over the ceiling. Kathy giggled. Oh yeah, look at that. During recess, Kathy went to play soccer with her friends, but when the ball was brought out... Yeah, where do you think the ball's gonna go? Oh no! It fell into outer space! On her way home, Kathy saw cars, trucks, and bikes that had suction cup wheels to keep them from falling. Kathy burst out laughing. This was the silliest thing she had ever seen. Kathy's mother had made mashed potato and pickled pizza, Kathy's favorite. But as she buckled into her seat, Kathy forgot to strap her plate down to the table and her dinner splattered on the ceiling. Oh yeah, look at all that. Being upside down was not so fun anymore. Kathy suction cupped her way back to the garage and grabbed the upside down machine. She put in some new batteries, zipped the zippers all the way, and flipped all the switches and toggles. She wound up the gears the right way and pressed the buttons in a very precise order. And lastly, she crossed her fingers for good luck again. Poof! Another big cloud of purple smoke filled the room. And when the smoke cleared, everything was back to normal. Kathy was happy to be right side up again and thought it was a good thing that she did not actually make a time machine. That would have been really silly. Oh, she did go back. She, <laughs> she did go back in time. Wow, that was such a cool book. What was your favorite part? 
Yeah, I like that too. My favorite part was when she actually went back into the past because she made a time machine and then there were dinosaurs. That was so crazy. So make sure that if you like this book, that you check it out at your local library. I'm sure they can find a copy. So for now, let's put this over here on our stand. Oh, that was so great. Okay, speaking of which, there were a lot of switches and toggles and flips and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a quick look and see what those are. Oh yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. And now that we know what those are, let's finish this machine. I have this super button here, and when I press this lever, I bet something crazy is gonna happen. We're gonna see if we can make a time machine. Are you ready? All right, let's do a countdown. Three, two, one. Oh. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. What? Whoa! Hey! Why am I upside down? Hey! Get me down! Ah! Oh, that was crazy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your day. I hope you got to learn something new. And no matter what, never forget that we are so proud of you. We can't wait to see what you bring to this world. But as always, you have to dream bigger than big, work harder than hard, and we'll see you next time. Catch you later.